What is going on everybody? It is Dylan with Asher DFS coming at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the DraftKings player pool and guys that I'm targeting on DraftKings. We'll go over FanDuel tomorrow. Today we're on DraftKings. So uh, earlier in the week, I've talked about who I've liked uh, at their price point. Um, kind of go over the price differences on both sides, some strategies. Now we're going to be talking about making our lineups and who we're looking at the most. So I think if you're going for a very small amount of lineups, right, uh, which is okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I just think in this state, uh, there's a lot of scenarios for these top price guys to play multiple lineups. But small, small amount of lineups, we're going to go obviously with CMC. I, I think if you've looked back at Shanahan in playoffs, right, it's always about getting the running backs hot. If you get the running backs hot, it's easier for uh, their quarterback to play. Now, this is probably the best type of passing game Sam Fran's had in the playoffs in a while since Jimmy G's been there and Jimmy G's had some some showings, but I, I think Brock Purdy is just more solid than Jimmy G has been. Um, but nonetheless, if you go back and look, they always get their running backs involved in the pass game, the run game with Mostert, Wilson, uh, Coleman was there. They've had a lot of of guys that fit their scheme very well and succeeded. But CMC is probably the best variation of that by, I, I'd say by far. Uh, a lot of those guys were were just starting or consistently hurt. Uh, we also it, we also when CMC originally got traded to San Fran, he was going to get hurt just because of how 49ers running backs have been. But he's been healthy, so uh, going to it like he's just been their guy all season long. Uh, you look at his yardage like throughout the season, um, almost averaging 100 yards a game just on the ground. Then throw another 600 in there, averaging over 100 yards total a game. Um, you could see. 224 a game uh touchdowns 25 touchdowns so the numbers are there for cmc he's safe floor uh high ceiling guy touchdown guy uh cmc easy i, I think he's an easy guy to put in our player pool so we're gonna add him uh next uh, patrick mahomes so you go in look at kansas city defenses in the past this is the best defense in my opinion the best defense top to bottom that Patrick Mahomes has had and going into the Super Bowl like best defense he's had and it's made up for his poor performance you look at his numbers against good teams this season from a fantasy perspective they're not great but if you're wanting me to choose between Patrick Mahomes and Brock Purdy I'm going to take Mahomes uh Kansas City's only allowed over 250 passing yards four times this season I believe I believe it's four uh, was the number I just looked up. Um, could be different, but still, that is a crazy number. Uh, and counter that, like Brock Purdy has just thrown over 200 yards all season, right? Over 200. The only one he didn't was against Cleveland uh, in Cleveland's great defense. But other than that, he's hit it. A couple games of 300, hitting over 250. Um, having CMC is a big part of that as well, though. Um, but if I'm going with a quarterback, I'm taking Mahomes versus San Francisco's pass defense, then I would Purdy against Kansas City's pass defense. I think Kansas City's got a better pass defense, but I do think that San Fran's got the better weapon weaponry for, for offense. Kansas City, right? I think you know, Kelsey, Rasheed Rice, two really good studs for Mahomes. But other than that, you're hoping guys step up um with MVS, Hardman, Sky Moore's back, uh, Kadarius Tony plays Kadarius Tony, Watson. Uh, you're hoping those guys step up versus San Fran. You have Debo, you have Brandon Ayuk, you have Kittle, you have those guys. So, yes, I, I do think the higher ceiling is is Brock Purdy, but the safer play is Mahomes. Right, Mahomes has been here. He, he's been here a few times uh, and been here against San Francisco. So uh, I, I'm going to put Mahomes in the lineup as well. Now, I do think Kelsey's a, a, a very good stud target to get here. His numbers in the playoffs are crazy. And even this year's playoffs, 24 and 32. Where have we seen that at all this season, right? Three times, three times this entire season, he's gotten over 20 uh, DK points. Two for two in the last two games. Hit it. So I do think Kelsey's a good option to get in there, right? Um, 
but I don't think it's a need necessarily. So uh, picking a lineup, you're going to have to pay down somewhere, right? You're going to have to pay down at uh, a San Fran side or Kansas City side. So I think I'm okay with, with stepping off of Kelsey uh, just based off of the lineup that we have currently and going somewhere else. So Debo Samuel, I, I think if you're going to pick a Can or San Francisco wide receiver, it's Debo. Now, the only reason I say that is because he's used in the running game. In the playoffs, you go back and look. Uh, these playoffs haven't done it justice, uh, but you go back and look without CMC before, Debo was used quite a bit. Even last year with CMC, he was used still in the run game. They're going to find ways to get Debo Samuel the ball, either in the pass game or the run game, because they know how much of an explosive weapon he is when he has the ball in his hands. Now, Ayuk is a great pass catcher, great route runner. He's going to get his own, right? It's going to happen. But I think if you're going to get somebody like, I still like Brandon Ayuk, right? I think he's good, good play. But if we're playing a safer play, we're playing a smaller lineup. I want Debo over Ayuk in this one. So I'm going to put Debo in and, and see where we're kind of at. And then this is where it gets kind of interesting, right? So we're at 6K remaining, um... And we need some Kansas City players. So we're looking at Isaiah Pacheco here. And I love Isaiah Pacheco if Jarek McKinnon is out. Right? Jarek McKinnon um, still technically on the IR, I guess. I I, I think he's been removed, but um, might not be active. So we'll see what that one looks like. If McKinnon's out, I love Pacheco. If McKinnon's in, I still think Pacheco's a great play. I just don't love him, right? Uh, so for the sake of it, we're going to try to see what we could do with putting Pacheco in. Uh, so we're at 51, right? Um, it's going to be fun to build this lineup. Uh, let's do this. Let's see what happens if we put Pacheco there. 31. So yeah, we can't get Rice in the lineup there. Um, I don't even think if we get Rice, we could get... No. So yeah, this is going to be fun to do. So for the sake of it, um, let's take Debo out. Uh, let's put Pacheco at captain and get Rice in there. I'd rather have that. So Rasheed Rice, yeah, I, I want a pass catcher with Mahomes, right? And I want Rasheed Rice. His matchups against the San Fran uh, wide receivers, I like it. Uh, obviously, I think Kelsey's got the higher upside. Don't get me wrong, but for our salary purpose of building these lineups, I think going Rasheed Rice is the way to go. Um, I, I just, salary-wise, it, it makes more sense, right? Because if you're getting Kelsey over that, you're fading, you know, uh, either CMC or basically Mahomes, or you're paying down at, at all three other positions. It's really hard to afford it. Uh, George Kittle, I do think, is still a good play against Kansas City. You've seen guys facing uh, Bolton, who is going to be covering the middle of the field, basically, for San Fran, have success. So I think Kittle's there. I, I just think he's not a must either. Um, I'm not worried about the injury status at all. Kittle's going to play. Kittle is a is a monster. He is going to find a way to play. Uh, now for the kickers, I, I'm still going Harrison Bucker, right? I, I'm trusting Kansas City's going to move down the field. If they struggle in the red zone, which they have this season, Harrison Bucker has had an amazing year. Uh, kicking, right? 95.2% kicking with a 60-yarder this season. Uh, you go and look at his playoff numbers, 14, 10, and 7 last week against Baltimore. Um, but still, uh, he's been such a reliable kicker that I'm trusting him at 5K, right? So let's just put Harrison Bucker in there. and We're left at 2,800, so interesting to figure it out. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're going to do that. Um, now going, the 49ers defense, right, uh, I think has a huge advantage. You look at their numbers, though, they're just not there fantasy-wise. And they played some interesting offenses, right? Detroit, a top five offense this season. Green Bay was just red hot. But still, the sacks are not there. They are not there for San Fran, and that's why I just don't love that San Fran defense. Juwan Jennings, I don't think, is just playable, right? He's He just doesn't do 
anything for me. He had a, a good game against Green Bay, but look at his numbers throughout the season. Uh, it's just nothing special. They're going to rely upon their their big names instead of someone like Juwan Jennings. Chiefs defense, uh, if I'm going to defense in you, I'm going to Chiefs defense, right? They're a, a very um, solid defense, top five defense, same as San Fran, but their, their upside has been higher uh, this entire season more than San Fran uh, San Fran's defense is. They just can't get sacks this year. And it's crazy if you look at their defensive line, they should be one of the top five defenses in sacks by far. They should probably be number one with getting Chase Young, but uh, Chase Young is just not bad. So we're, we're going to eliminate uh, both defenses, uh, especially salary-wise. We can't afford them. Uh, MBS, I, I think if you go for a pass catcher, he's the, the third option. Third option, right? For Kansas City, not counting running back. So we're going Kelsey number one, Rice number two, and then MVS. As far as safety wise, right? I, I think any, you could tell, you could make a case to me for any Kansas City wide receiver, and I don't have a problem with it, right? If you want to tell me MVS, go ahead, tell me MVS. If you want to tell me uh, Justin Watson, go for Justin Watson. Sky Moore, yes. Seeing, I would imagine, Mecole Hardman's in the game, uh, but Kadarius Tony, same thing. Like, if Kadarius Tony plays, cool. You can make a case for any of these guys, and I wouldn't have a problem with it. I don't think any of those guys has stood out enough from one another to make me have a favoritism towards any of them. Now, I do have the guys that I like, but still, that's they haven't done anything, right? I love Miko Hartman coming back to Kansas City. What's he done since? Not really anything, right? Almost cost him the game uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know why I go right back to him. Uh, Kadarius Tony, right? I, I loved Kadarius Tony going to Kansas City last year. Saw some flashes, right? Kind of banged up has done nothing for Kansas City this season at all. And he had a really good opportunity. Uh, Juju left, right? Um, Tyreek was gone. Like, all these guys that, that left. Uh, now, Tyreek was a couple of years ago, obviously. But Juju left in the offseason. He went to New Orleans. There was a big opening for someone to, to, to take that place. Rasheed Rice wasn't this when he started the season. He wasn't the number one wide receiver for Kansas City. He wasn't. He was struggling to see the field. But Kadarius Tony just failed. Like Kadarius Tony got a lot of stamps, just did nothing with them. So he's probably the only outlier that I would go no. Uh, I would trust Michael Hartman than I would Kadarius Tony, but you never know, right? Maybe they think, oh, we can't trust Kadarius Tony. Uh, Richie James, I imagine, is probably going to get bumped out if Kadarius Tony's in. If not, Richie James kind of moves up. But going back to it, you can make a case to me for any of those guys, and I would not have a problem at all with any of them. Um, but trying to fill out this lineup is just very, very tough for me. Uh, obviously this is a huge Kansas city stack. Um, I don't think like, I think we're going to have to kind of switch it up, uh, and see if we could get anybody like Kittle's the only one that we could get right. And kind of switch it up and get off of Butker and just go, um, a San Fran guy. So we'll do it for the sake of the video, right? This is just me trying to go based off of guys I like. Um, so for the sake of the video, right, um, we'll we'll put Kadarius Tony in. Like I said, you could make a case, uh, but this is kind of what I want, right? I want both running backs in my lineup. Finding a way to get both running backs in my lineup is what I want. Uh, getting a quarterback, right? Now, obviously, with the way that this lineup is built, we're kind of hoping for a high-scoring game, so we're fading both defenses. We're assuming, you know, McCaffrey uh, gets their touchdowns or it's Kittle, and it's not, uh, you know, a lot of yards that they're giving up because if they're giving up a lot of yards, that means Purdy's getting yards, which means Purdy's getting points. Um, but with Mahomes, we have two of his pass catchers in Rice and Tony. We don't have Kelsey, but we do have Isaiah Pacheco. So we're hoping it's either a passing or running touchdown and Mahomes or Pacheco are going to get it, right? Uh, there's scenarios where they, it's not them, but it's going to be either Mahomes or Pacheco on that side. Um, and on the San Fran side, I don't like fading Debo, right? But Salary-wise, this is what we come up with. So, hope you guys did enjoy this breakdown. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys are interested in not watching the video but listening to it, I'm trying to upload all these 
uh, audio versions to Spot of, uh, Spotify. It's the same thing, Astro DFS. The link for that will be in the description below. If you guys want to listen to it there, uh, you guys can. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy Like I said, I'll have a breakdown on FanDuel tomorrow for you guys. If you guys have any questions, uh, any comments, anything to go over, uh, please let me know. This is the last game of the season, uh, and then we'll have... Uh, uh, spring football content coming out for you guys and dynasty content so if you guys are interested in that that will be coming out throughout the off season so hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you